Okay, so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to try to avoid some problems that people commonly encounter uh, kind of down the line um, just by sort of tweaking the default template um, and eliminating those problems right off of the start. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this architectural template. Um, if we hit this button, it's going to create a new file. We don't want to create a new file using it. We actually want to open the template itself. So to open that template, um, what we're going to do is we're going to browse to, if we go to search programs, it's the C drive. And then it is program data. And then it is under Autodesk. So if we open that folder here, program data may be a hidden file. Um, if you don't know how to get to hidden files, um, depending on whether you're a Mac or a PC, you can just look up um, show hidden folders uh, online. And they, there's plenty of guides that will show you how to open up a, a hidden folder. So once I get to the Autodesk folder, I'm looking for this RVT 2016. Open that up. Open up Templates. U.S. Imperial, um, and then the architecture template is actually the default. So, if we open this, and wait for it to open here. There we go. Okay, so when you open it up, you get something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, the problem that people commonly encounter is if they are drawing a project in here, this does not give you very much room. This is basically 160 feet. Um, so if you're doing a somewhat large project, uh, I mean, in this way, it's even shorter. It's 133. So if you're doing even a remotely large, medium-sized project, um, something other than a fairly small house, uh, you're going to exceed the boundaries of this and these are your markers for your elevations so if you see this little blue line if you click on the little carrot here it shows this blue line that's the view plane so you're standing at this blue line and you're looking to the left for this elevation to the right for this down for that one up for this one if you start to exceed beyond where that blue line is now this elevation reads as a section and oftentimes people will begin looking at this view and they've exceeded that boundary and now all of a sudden they think something's gone horribly wrong with their model and a bunch of stuff that they've done recently isn't showing up, what's going on, this is causing me huge issues, um, that sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into this template and we're going to grab each one of these and move them way out of the way. So just grab them and pull them as far out of the way as you'd like. That way there's plenty of workspace within here. Um, and what I typically do is when you double click your scroll wheel, it'll, it defaults to zoom extents and it'll zoom all the way out to here. If your project is only say this big, that's not going to be super helpful. Um, but I like to keep these way out here and then when I start my project I kind of know where these things are based on this view. I can draw something in the middle of it to know that okay I'm centered within these and then I'll hide these. That way when I zoom extends it zooms to my building and not all the way out to here. Um, so that's one thing that you can do uh, just right off the bat to prevent problems that you're gonna ha that you might run into down the line. Um, as you get further into Revit and you know what uh, items you're going to use a lot, um, there are all these wall types built in here. There are components um, already loaded in. Uh, that sort of stuff starts to bog your model down a little bit. So what we can do is once you kind of know the items that you're going to use frequently, uh, you can kind of come in here and say, okay, I use the generic 8-inch wall um, quite frequently, so I'm going to draw one of those. I use the brick on metal stud. I'm going to draw one of those. Uh, and let's say I want um, something that I always keep in there no matter what because um, they're just uh, really difficult to remake if, it, uh, if you get rid of them is the storefront and curtain wall. So... Basically, I'll draw the cur a little curtain uh, storefront and a curtain wall in there. 
So I've got these two drawn in. Now, basically what I can do is, if I want to put doors in there, I can stick doors in there. But essentially you want one of everything that you are going to keep in your template drawn out here. Place components, place doors, place windows, whatever it is that you use frequently, put those in here. But all of the stuff that you do not want to be in your template, you do not draw. So you want to kind of have one of everything that you want to be in your template out here. Um, after that, uh, if you come in to Manage tab, you can hit this Purge Unused. You hit Check All, so it's going to check all of these categories. Um, if you, do, For whatever reason, there's a certain category that you do not want it to get rid of. Just go ahead and click on that and de-check it. So let's say I wanted to not not get rid of arrowheads, you can uncheck those. Um, but once you've checked all those, you hit OK. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but so you see the number of items checked here, 328. I would do this twice because sometimes it doesn't purge absolutely everything. Um, but once it purges everything, all of these excess wall types, all of the components and stuff, all of the things that you don't typically use are going to be wiped clean. So you won't have all of this stuff bogging your model down that you don't use on a regular basis. Um, it's also a pretty good idea towards the end of a project to just go ahead and purge. That way anything that you've used along the way uh, that you no longer are using or maybe you loaded in then the client changed their mind or um, you just decide to go in a different direction, you can get rid of that stuff and kind of clean your model up. Um, a little bit that way it's not quite so clunky so those are just a, a couple little things um, to sort of help start your model off clean um, and prevent any issues that you might have down the line